Hello to all of my young gardeners. This is Susu, and I'm out in an area where we just let the weeds uh, go wild here. Uh, and it's a good place for the bees and the insects and the butterflies uh, and the hummingbirds uh, to find nectar and pollen uh, and food to eat. And today I specifically wanted to talk to you about the milkweed plant. Uh, and there are several ways that you can identify the milkweed. Um, for starters, it's about three feet tall and um, it actually has a pink midrib down the center of the leaf. Uh, and it's especially prominent during the springtime uh, it's actually very pink, uh, just this line right down the center, which is called the midrib. And another way that you can identify it is uh, the leaves are opposite one another on the stem. This is the main stem, and um, the leaves are on the opposite of one another. And we've got a little visitor there that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Another way that we can identify the milkweed is when you um, are taking a leaf off of the plant um, like this, you can see uh, a milky substance come out of the plant. Uh, that's where it gets its name. Uh, it's just this gooey liquid, white liquid, that actually, uh, when it dries on your skin, uh, it turns kind of sticky. Um, but you want to keep in mind that um, this is poisonous. This is a poisonous plant. Um, every part on it is poisonous. You don't want to eat the leaves or the milk that comes out of the leaves. Uh, you really want to avoid that. Now, come fall, the pods will, the plant will form pods, uh, which an example is right here. Uh, this is a green milkweed pod, and it feels almost like plastic. Uh, it has a very interesting texture. Uh, and then later on, it will dry and turn brown like these up here uh, and then they will pop open and the seeds will come out and you can see the seeds these are called akines uh, if you can say that akin uh, it's a type of seed uh, and these akines have a uh, really it's basically a little parachute uh, that's attached to each one and what happens when the wind comes, um, the akin will catch the current in the wind and it will fly off into the air. And it can travel um, really great distances. And then it will uh, land, hopefully, onto some soil where it can germinate and then grow into another milkweed. So, aside from the milkweed being a pretty cool plant, it's also a host plant. And what I mean by a host plant is uh, the monarch butterfly lays its eggs and uh, the caterpillars eat uh, the foliage. Um, and a host plant provides, it's kind of like having a guest over to your house. Uh, you want to provide the things that they need, uh, give them food and drink, and that's what happens uh, with the monarch butterfly. It will lay its eggs onto the underside of the leaf, and you can see that white dot right there. That is a monarch egg and um, the egg will gr develop and mature and when it's ready it will um, open up and a small caterpillar a monarch caterpillar will come out of there 
and I've seen several crawling around. Uh, here's one that I noticed when we were looking at the milkweed. And this uh, monarch caterpillar is yellow, black, and white. That's how you can identify it. And um, he's quite pretty, I think. Uh, you can also see his uh, filaments right here on either end of his body. Uh, and they use that, I think, to feel with. And you can also see his pro legs. They are yellow and black right there on the bottom. And they use that to hold on to the leaf. So the caterpillar, and there's actually another one over here. He's, um, he's eating, he's a little bit bigger. And uh, he's munching on the leaf. You can see on the leaves where they have uh, come along and eaten their dinner, so to speak, uh, because the leaves are notched. And that's what these are doing. They are beginning to have their meal. And the, the monarch caterpillar will molt. And we've talked about that before. They um, molt about five times uh, throughout their growing. And if you recall what that means, um, they get too big uh, for their skin. So they will shed their skin and um, then grow new skin. And like I said, they'll do that about five times. And then they will be ready to form their pupa. Uh, and this is where they form a chrysalis, and the, the caterpillar will actually uh, crawl off of the milkweed, and he will find a protected area. Uh, you can find them just about anywhere, uh, and they're green, and uh, they hang down from whatever they've attached themselves to, and it takes them about a week to two weeks to completely uh, metamorphosize and that's a really big word metamorphosize but basically all it means is this caterpillar turns into a beautiful orange and black butterfly so it looks completely different um, than what it does now so it's a big change and right here we have another one he's a little bit smaller He's not quite as old as some of the others that we just looked at. But you can see his pro legs right there. And um, the other interesting thing about the monarch caterpillar is there are other butterflies that will mimic the look of the monarch. Um, they will have the yellow, black, and white, such as the viceroy butterfly and uh, the viceroy is actually orange and black as well so um, they mimic the monarch butterfly because uh, as i mentioned earlier the milkweed is poisonous and it's really an interesting fact that the monarch can eat this poisonous plant and grow and develop like it does uh, and be fine, but they really use it as a defense mechanism, uh, which means uh, if a bird or another insect eats this, uh, it's poisonous. So it can really um, make whatever eats it uh, not feel so good. So when they see um, a caterpillar or the monarch butterfly that's orange and black, uh, birds will and insects will avoid it so it's nice uh, that other butterflies have mimicked the look of the monarch butterfly so it's very important that we provide a habitat a place for the eggs and the caterpillars for the monarch to grow uh, and develop because really the uh, milkweed is the only plant um, that the 
caterpillar will eat. So they really need this food source. Uh, so we really want to provide um, these plants and this space uh, for them to grow up and develop and grow into these beautiful, beautiful caterpillars and butterflies. Hopefully I'll get lucky and I'll see a butterfly uh, once he's uh, metamorphosized and I can share that with you as well. Nature is fun. Over and out from Susu's garden. Love you.